how is a deceased spirit going to experience a physical libation well you see again um this person never left because death is not exiting this plane okay death is like um um i'll use the example mutabaruka uh, used ne? that um it's like you get into an open space you put a building in an open space ne? now the space inside the building and the space outside the building is the same mm -hmm. the space inside of you and the space outside of you is the same so what happened is death is the falling of the building when the walls of the building fall the building don't go with that space the buildings uh, the, the space the building goes alone the but space still remains so when a person die because this most spiritual cultures in the highest Selassie, they say they agree to the idea that the body is a temple, the temple. that uh, this is a container that carry you your life which is the essence of your existence because the essence of your existence is your life but it is contained by this container now when this container goes it doesn't go with, with the you, life with the life it goes alone that is why when you dream of umkuluak you don't dream her spirit you see her as she is okay like she doesn't come as a ghost that is why we say <laughs> i dream the spirit of my ancestors yeah. it takes us back to that thing we're saying there is no such thing as ancestor worship okay. or that africans worship the spirit of their dead ancestors thank you because who comes to you is that same person okay. with the wrinkles and the mark and the scars that you knew that you person knew. and the man in now, now why would this person therefore want their black label and what 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 this explained to the idea of existence that in the person of the person there are many persons when we greet you we greet you in plural Dumela. Dumela. Sanibonani, Tobel. but because we are greeting them in you because you are the total summary of everything that existed before you Nako. Igo Yes. you inherit that. you inherit that as much as you inherited your nose exactly you're not self-created you don't decide that you're gonna want you're gonna have this nose therefore so this nose come from somewhere that someone can say if i know if no cool ufuzil, ufuzo, genetics yes now mm -hmm. meaning if my existence is an extension of the existence of those who came before me therefore in my memory bank soul memory bank when they come up in my visions my dreams in my interactions it's them stimulating or invoking that soul memory within me because i am them and they are me i can never be separated from my ancestors and because I can't be separated from my ancestors, I can therefore never worship them because we are one. Exactly, because this is the same thing. You see, when we say Pabadim, mm -hmm. when we say Opasha, when we say Gasuzanavatarakam Sevizovadim, none of these things refer to worship. It's not a religious or something act. outside of you. No, it is a true homage, an acknowledgement of you in them because and them in, in you. you because you are your ancestors sitting here they are you there which is everywhere <laughs> that is why we the african god is not somewhere it's everywhere i don't know all the time doesn't mean the, ab the abode of god the dwelling place of god as in heaven mm -hmm. because how to mudimu mudimu it means it comes from Hodima. Mudimu mm -hmm. is like you see when you take a paper, you put an ink in the paper. What does the ink does? It penetrates mm -hmm. and percolate mm -hmm. the paper. That's what Mudimu is. Mm -hmm. Is that which is in everything and everywhere. That's why Mudimu are everywhere. We don't have a specific place where you go and we worship, worship him. God. Or the